Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, so another voice that has kind of mesmerized us, both Bali and me, and I think in this series of discovering music or showing the discoveries that we've made to father, uh, mm -hmm. is certainly Shreya Goshal. Uh, she's Ooh. from India. Shreya Goshal. She's an Indian singer. Okay. And uh, she's actually, she performed in London in 2016. Okay. And one of you actually sent us this video. Uh, I don't know if it was, it was them who actually recorded it, but it's live life. Uh, you can, I guess I shouldn't really talk much. Let's see what your kind of, I don't know, thoughts are on this. It's very classical influence, certainly very different. Um, so let's give it a watch. She's a ginormous deal, dude. When I say famous, I, that's just probably a representation of it. I've never seen this either. Where in London was that? Apollo. Apollo, London. difficult to to determine what what key is she singing it's impossible this. very classical influence so remember this is all brand new territory Ooh. this is just as mind blowing for you as it is for me it doesn't look real dude I think it's a it's a C. And now she changed. If I could see the bases, I, I could have an idea. You see the they play like a timbal kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense, I remember she was the girl who was explaining the chords progression. No, no, no. no. Is that, is that's a di uh, that's a different uh, that's a different girl. The one that was explaining rag. Uh huh. Yeah, rag. That's different. She that is, was that was came to my mind. So she's she, doing rags. Ah, very good. So she is implementing some elements of it. I don't know if she has a section here where she maybe does like I don't know rag. Yeah, yeah, I think it's Yaman or there's other names. Um, but Saga. I'm not too sure where she would implement these things. I think it's all an agglomeration. The whole performance is based mm, on that. Okay. Uh, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me if it, like in the last minute of the performance she decides to when. When we think she's doing like riffs and runs, mm -hmm. that's most likely rag. But yes, I think that's not a bad uh, uh, thought start 
uh, to think of that video that we sort of wrecked. Because Father was actually present there. He's usually behind uh, in, in production, like behind the camera. So Yeah, but what, what, I, what I think is very good with this lady, especially in this song that we're watching now. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, is that she studied in a classical way. Yeah, yeah. But immediately she became to a, 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 a I think was a C major scale. Right. I think was a C major scale um, because I catch the the basses in, in in C. Right. And the melody was you know very smooth, and you can let it flow easily. Right. And suddenly turn back again to the yeah the it's his own natural the, yeah. The, kind of rock I see in, I don't I know I, I don't know I, I truly hope I truly wish to know more in order for me to be able to confirm this with you this well mm, my guesses. question is the same uh, how many times do you have to rehearse yeah, to do something like this I don't know dude. this guy <laughs> yeah, because so... it's a mixture of so many things yeah it's just I'm, I'm probably from different parts of of the country yeah 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 well yeah, I mean, can, how can you gather that a certain number of musicians capable to do it? No one is reading a paper there. Probably the the keyboard is on the computer. Uh, well, this is definitely a stand. So yeah, yeah and, and 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 on the keyboards, well, there, not, there's a there's a laptop. But no one else. Yeah. Yep. No, no. You see, yeah, yeah. The rest of them just by heart. Yeah, yeah, it's really crazy. I don't know, I, and I, people don't understand how difficult like that is for us to comprehend because it, we're not we're not either classical music musicians, and we didn't grow up with that pedigree of music. So I guess reading to us isn't really a must. But most of the things that you get to play in South America in in that world which we grew up in that music world yeah, what's are fairly heart? linear yeah. to some extent as well. They're fairly linear. They're not that unexpected. The uh, unexpected well, things. Well, not. The unexpected yes things and are, no. The unexpected things are usually the arrangement and, you know, percussion-wise, there's lots of uh, uh, stops and accents and uh, uh, yes, yes, paratitos right. where they shouldn't be and paratitos where they should be. So that's, I guess, the only peculiar thing. But because we, we grew up in there, it's so that's it's some, easier for us yeah, to understand. That's, that's different. That's what makes the difference. But do not underestimate what... Um, the bands back in in South America, no, no, in I'm Central not America, uh, they used to do uh, by heart. Yeah, uh, yeah. With, with with no papers on 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 stage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the performance, um, and I'm speaking about bands that perform for two hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah One 40, concert, 50 songs, two yeah. hours. Yeah. And you know and so hot from the beginning to end yeah, yeah, and tight. people and people crying for more you know yeah. after two hours and I guess I it's the same for them but... and i have another great example so great example and i will never forget that concert only once in my life has seen that the man started um performing at 2 a.m in, in the morning yeah and finished, you know he said, artist? yeah, uh, I, will, I will say it. And he finished, because he said it at the beginning, yeah. in the intro, um, when, his, when he was doing something like his sound check, but well, live. And when they finished the intro, he said, stay with me, we will see the sunrise. Okay. And it happened at 7 a.m. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He was still singing. Five hours. Yeah, and nobody with a paper. Yeah. No one. I've never saw a paper. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that I and guess I'm, is... I'm bit... speaking about the greatest uh, man in this um, type of music, which is Oscar de Leon. Oh, Oscar de Leon, yeah. Yeah, he is a Venezuelan guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, he probably is about 70-something nowadays. Yeah. But still perform. <laughs> And yeah, do look him up. I'm sure a lot of you guys might enjoy actually. Yeah, probably. Yeah, there, there's a lot to, to, to show. But here's my him. point about the video. Like, I think for them it might be the same as us for Latin music because they grew up in sort of the, you know, this is, but I, I still think because their music are so, has so much history and it's so mm -hmm. aligned also with religion and, and, uh, and 
and other other concepts that it, it's way deeper I think and it's harder it's a, it's a harder it's, pedigree it's, it's more cultural ways yeah I, I certainly think it's a different skill level to to most things that I have been able to consume I don't think simply if you grow up and you're a musician there you'd be able to grasp these concepts as well I think there's a lot of academia involved yes which is a is that's a big discrepancy in the South American music scene compared to us. Academia isn't a must. It isn't. I don't think it is. Well, you yes. can be a great live gigging musician without academia, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's true. And I guess the same here. But I I, I think because there's so much uh, law and so much um, rules, so many um, requirements that you must acknowledge them, and that's a form of study. That's a form of academy. Yeah, probably they have it even from school, primary school. True. Yeah. But you don't get taught cumbia in first grade uh, in Venezuela. No, but yeah. Not to that depth. No, no, no. No, no way. That's no, what no, I mean. No, I'm not trying to undermine, obviously, so I'm just saying it's, I think it's different skill level. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> decisions at play all the time. People know the song yeah, yeah, from yeah. beginning to end. I mean, that that's also a crazy thing, right? It's like people copy like the, yes. all those runs and it's crazy. Like, it's really impressive. It's an industry that really it's, I'm it's trying a, to... For me, it's that totally different world. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And my congratulations because you have over there, uh, I think I counted uh, nine musicians on stage. Something like that, yeah. Two yeah. here, drummer, minor, then the tabla player, guitarist, bass. Yeah, about, about, yeah, about eight or nine, I yeah. think. And they all knew what to do. <laughs> Just like that. Well, they're a world-class <laughs> band, yes, yes, for sure. Yeah, but... New world for me. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Right. Absolutely new world. Just as a stories. It's <laughs> mental. It's one of the industries I'm trying to still wrap my head around. Yeah, and not not only the 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 chords, but the structure of the songs. Yeah, doesn't make any sense. It's, it's like a labyrinth. For me, it's like a labyrinth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I, and I think that's why also we're investing a lot of time in trying to learn it. Um, not only it's been well received by you guys, which is obviously amazing, but it's also. It sparked a new level of curiosity that it's been awakened for a good while. Of course. Because especially here, it's you know, in the West, yeah. UK, US, South America, mm -hmm. you get a specific set of genres that you only, you always are exposed to. You never are really exposed to music like this unless you look for it. Exactly. But if you look the charts or movies or, or uh, outside on the radio, that's never going to be played usually. So, but now it's like... My playlist is an absolute mess, mate. Like, it has music from all over the world and yeah, yeah. hard to digest, but certainly enjoyable. Well, we are in a country where all those cultures meet together every single day in central London. True, yeah, yeah. Exactly where we are, yeah. So, so one, of, one of the um, things I learned uh, from the BBC uh, uh, news in, in, yeah. in the morning was that... Uh, Every day in central London, you will see 350 different cultures Bloody living hell. together. Yeah. 
Can you imagine what happened with the music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In central London. Yeah, I mean, certainly. I mean, it has to be. I was surprised at how many, you know, sort of artists from the indie music industry come to the O2 and they exactly they, they come to uh, uh, the Wembley Arena and yeah. they, they play. So it's mental. Anyways, it's amazing, guys. Let us know what you thought about it and perhaps what else you like us to check out next. Father approves, of course. Father approves. And goodbye. <laughs> Bye.